Today we're going over a common issue, why your car might squeal when you first start it up, what typically causes it, and how you can go about fixing it. Common Causes of the Squealing Sound In most cases, that squealing noise is caused by a worn or damaged belt. Modern vehicles often have one serpentine belt, while some older ones may have separate belts for the alternator, power steering, and air conditioning systems. If any of these belts become worn, cracked, or loose, they can start to squeal, especially when the engine is cold. But belts aren't the only possibility. It's also possible that the power steering unit is going bad or low on fluid. A loose tensioner, which keeps the belt tight, could also be the culprit. Lastly, a bad battery or alternator might be causing the squealing sound. Inspect the belts. When you hear that squealing noise, the first thing you should do is inspect the belts on the front of the engine. These belts wrap around key components like the alternator, power steering pump, and AC compressor. Take a close look at each one and check for any visible cracks, fraying, or signs of wear and stretching. If you see any of that, it likely means the belt is worn out and needs to be replaced. Belts generally last around 50,000 miles, though that can vary depending on your vehicle. If your car has over 100,000 miles and the belts have never been replaced, there's a good chance they're overdue. Check the power steering fluid. If the belts look fine, the next step is to check your power steering fluid level. This is usually quick and easy. Depending on your vehicle, you'll either find a dipstick style cap with markings like add or full, or a clear reservoir with lines labeled upper and lower. If the fluid is low, it can definitely cause squealing noises. A common sign of low power steering fluid is if you hear the squeal, not just at startup, but also when you turn the wheel, like during a right or left turn while driving. If that's the case, topping off the fluid may solve the issue. Check the power steering pump. If your fluid level looks good, but the squealing still happens, especially when turning, there's a chance the power steering pump itself is going bad. In that case, the pump might not be building proper pressure and could need replacement or further diagnosis. Test the battery. If the belts and power steering check out, the next thing to look at is the battery. This issue is especially common during cold starts. If your battery is weak or starting to fail, it won't hold a full charge, so when you start the car, the alternator has to work extra hard to power everything up and recharge the battery. That extra load can cause the alternator belt to squeal, especially if it's struggling to turn under pressure. To check the condition of your battery, you can use a multimeter. With the car off, you should see a voltage reading between 12.20 and 12.64 volts, indicating that the battery is holding a proper charge. If the voltage is lower than that, you can try charging the battery for about an hour to see if it holds a charge. If you're unsure whether the battery is good, you can take it to auto parts stores. They'll usually test it for free, and many will even charge it for you if needed. Test the alternator. Once the battery checks out, you can test the alternator. Start the car and use your multimeter to measure voltage across the battery terminals while the engine is running. A properly working alternator should read around 13.5 to 14.5 volts. If it's putting out significantly less than that, your alternator might be struggling to keep up, which can lead to squealing belts due to the added load. You can also look up the recommended alternator output for your specific vehicle to make sure everything's in the correct range. Check the AC compressor. If all that checks out, another possible cause of the squealing could be the air conditioning compressor. If the bearings inside the compressor start to wear out or seize up, they can cause a squeal when the engine first starts. Usually, this only happens when the AC is turned on, but a damaged bearing can still make noise even if the AC is off. So it's worth checking that the compressor spins freely and that nothing is seized or grinding. Inspect the belt tensioner. Another common culprit is the belt tensioner. This component keeps the drive belt tight as it naturally stretches over time. It's spring-loaded and that spring needs to stay strong to maintain the proper tension. If the spring wears out, or the tensioner fails, the belt can become too loose, which leads to squealing. To check this, press down firmly on the belt. If it feels excessively loose, your tensioner might not be doing its job. Sometimes, tightening the belt helps, but if the tensioner isn't holding properly anymore, you may need to replace it. 
And that's pretty much it. If you've got anything to add, feel free to drop it in the comments below. If this video was helpful, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and have a great day.